Hi kids, this time we're going to learn how to draw ray diagrams for concave lenses. First ray again is going to be our parallel ray, so it goes from our object to the center of the lens. Now remember, a concave lens diverges light, so it's going to spread the light out, but it's not going to come from as if it was coming from any random spot, it's going to come from the focal point on the other side. Did you see how that lines up with the focal point? Now. Well, here, let me uh, just write this down, just in case you didn't understand me. Line it up with the focal point on the same side of the lens. That focal point right there. Comprende? All right, our second ray is going to be the center ray. This is drawn exactly the same as with a convex lens. So it goes from our object right through the center of a lens, and then it just keeps going. Super. Our last ray is going to be our focal ray. This ray, we've already used the focal point on the near side, so now we have to draw our light ray towards the focal point on the other side. So we're going to draw it towards the focal point on the other side, like a so. But we only, we want to have it go to where the center lens would be. That's where to the center lens would be. So let me just line this up correctly. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Wait for it. Go up a little bit. Oh, I don't think that's right. Oh, wait. Okay. Now we're working. we got to go up just a little bit so that it's lined up with the focal point on the other side. Very nice. And then this one is going to come out parallel to the principal axis. Oh, wait. Sorry. Line it up with the focal point on the opposite side. See, we've already used the focal point on the same side for our parallel ray, so we have to use that focal point on the opposite side for our focal ray. And then our last light ray, or the focal ray, is going to come out parallel to the principal axis. Wonderful. And if you notice, these three light rays are not going to meet on the right side. So if the light rays don't meet on the right side, right, me don't meet over here. So that means we will have to extend the light rays back. Remember, when you extend the light rays back, please use a dotted line because that's trying to show you that the light is not actually going there. It's just that the your brain thinks that the light is going there. So use a dotted line. Okay, so now we are going to extend the light rays back. Uh... We're going to draw the light ray back to through the focal point. Very nice. We need to draw one more light ray. Extend this one back. Again, we're always extending the bent part back. And if you notice, you can see where all three light rays meet. So we have to do our final step, which is to draw the image. Because the whole purpose of this is to find where the image is. And if we draw our image, you will see that the image is virtual, right side up and smaller. Wonderful job. Thank you very much, everybody.